Hi everyone, this is Eric with Magic Light, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Magic Light Wi Fi bulb to either your tablet or your smartphone. So, first off, these are our three Wi Fi bulbs we have the original, which is a 7 watt, the plus, which is a 7.5, and these are both equivalent to a 60 watt bulb. And then back here, we have the Pro, and this is a 10 watt bulb, equivalent uh, brightness to a 80 watt uh, incandescent bulb. Okay, so first thing we want to do is screw in our bulb and when you turn it on, it's going to alternate between this cool white color to more of like a warm white color like that. So first, let's go to our app store and look for Magic Light WF. And here it is right here. This is the Magic Light Wi-Fi app version 2. Let's go ahead and install that one. And if you guys can't find it, you also have a QR code in the instruction manual that came with your bulb. There's the QR code there. And then also on the side of the box, you have a giant QR code. Let's go and open our app. And then first what we want to do is hit this plus button up here. And let's go ahead and add device. And now what it's going to do is it's going to make you create a sign in. So it's important to sign in with the Wi-Fi bulb. Uh, you do actually, you actually have the ability to log into your bulb even when you're away from home. And that's why you want to create an account. So a sign up process is very easy. You're just going to put in your email and just create any password you want and click sign up. Okay, I went ahead and I created an account and then I clicked sign in and now I'm ready to go. So here we have the three lights that you can see. Well, I have this one right here that's really bright. I'm hiding behind so you guys can actually see the screen. And then I have two bulbs back here. I'm going to go ahead and select that top one and now it's connecting and now it's logged in to the actual bulb. So now what you're seeing right here is the bulb is actually displaying the uh, Wi-Fi networks that it can see right now. So these top two are mine and I have a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz range uh, router. So I'm going to go ahead and select the 2.4 gigahertz. These bulbs will not work on 5 gigs. So this is where you put in your routers password. So your home Wi-Fi uh, password. All right. So I just entered my router's password and now it's connected to the bulb. This is where you can rename your bulb to whatever you want. So if you're going to put this in your hallway, your bedroom, your kitchen, you can name it here. And that's important if you're going to be grouping your bulbs together. Now, if you did enter the wrong password on your home router, what you're going to have to do is factory reset your bulb. And I included a link on how to factory reset your bulb in the description down below. Okay, now you can see that my bulb is right here and I can go ahead and turn this off or turn it on and it's very instant. And that's one of the big advantages of a magic light bulb is how quickly the app reacts with the bulb. So right when I turn it on, the bulb is going to react and turn on. Okay, now with my device turned on, now I can access all of the functions of the magic light app. And one important thing to remember, if you do want to access your bulb while you're away, let's say you're on vacation and you want to randomly turn your bulb on and off, you want to make sure you leave the socket turned on and then turn your bulb on and off through the app. And then if you did buy multiple bulbs, it's the same process. You just go ahead and click the plus button, add a device and go ahead. Let's see. We'll add that one. And it's going to ask you to connect to the Wi-Fi again. It's going to save your Wi-Fi password so you don't have to enter it in every time. Hit confirm. Now your other device will show up in your app right here. So I'm going to go ahead and name this one bulb three. Okay, now that your bulbs are all logged into your home router, let's go ahead and click the plus button again. And now instead of adding a device, I'm going to go ahead and add a group. You can name your group. So if you're going to put it, let's say you put all three of these in your bedroom, hit confirm, and then your group is going to show up right here. And now you can assign bulbs to this group. So I'm going to hold down just for a second and then assign device and you can assign all three or you can assign just one. It's up to you. So let's just go ahead and assign all three, hit confirm. And now when I click on this, the same panel is going to show up uh, with all my different functions. But now the difference is all the bulbs are going to change color at the same time. Same thing with turning them on and off. So if I go ahead and go to this group and I want to turn them all off at the same time or turn them all on at the same time, they work as a group, which is really cool. So let's say I'm going to group these two together and then this one I'm going to create on a separate group. Let's see how that works. So 
to delete a group, you can actually just hold down and delete it. Or what you can do is remove a bulb by just unselecting it. So I'm gonna go back, assign device, and I'm gonna deselect bulb number four, hit confirm. And then now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna add a group, and then let's name this, let's say I put this in the hallway, confirm. So I'm gonna hold down, assign device, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select that bulb that I removed before, hit confirm. And now when I change the bulb color, it's just going to change the color for that one bulb or however many bulbs you put in that one group. If you guys need to delete a bulb for whatever reason, let's say you just gave one to your friend and you no longer need it in the system, what you wanna do is you go up here to your settings, you go to device setting, and then you find the bulb that you wanna delete, click on it, and delete. 